Hi everyone. I just wanted to make a quick video on what happens if you max out V. If you're not aware, I mean, if you haven't played the game yet, uh, you do have all the engrams and stuff, but you can't enable all of them at the same time. So I just used the trainer to see what will happen. So as you can see, I'm at level 50 and I've got all the engrams and everything. So let's go find something to do in Night City. I'm just gonna find something to fight and see how that works. Basically, to make it fair to the NPCs and everyone, I just turned the difficulty of the game to the maximum, so it's not killing everything one shot. I'm primarily gonna be using the Satori Katana that you can get in the quest The Highest. I have a video on that if you haven't checked it out. I mean, you can pick it up even after the quest if you've missed it. And what can we do? Here we go, let's fight the police actually. So, on very hard difficulty, the, the police are actually really badass, so I'll probably die in a bit. But let's see how it goes. As you can see, the katana is making massive amounts of damage. Yeah, there we go. So, this is my first knockout, so basically, I'm gonna revive and I'm just gonna get me. Max stack, they came around, so I'm pretty much screwed. Once you're at max difficulty, max stack are really badass. There we go. So, let's start over. I mean, I'm running actually update 1.1, and so far I haven't noticed anything improved in the game. Basically, all the bugs that I've noticed are still there, and I've heard from other people that it actually breaks the game even more. Over here you're gonna see me driving, don't, don't worry about it, because uh, the, the hand in the vehicles in this game is just insane. I mean, they're all floaty, cushiony, so not too long. if you can avoid driving, just avoid it. Let's see what we can do actually. I'm actually trying to find someone to fight. See, th this is the problem of the game. If you're not doing, if you're not doing the main missions, you're pretty much stuck roaming around Night City without having anything to do. See, I'm just gonna go do a police report thing, but th those are really easy. I mean, th they're a good way to actually run ex XP and money, but nothing major. If you compare it to the world. Basically out there you have something to do in the city. There we go, they knocked me then. So if you don't have any missions to do or stuff like that in GTA 5, at least you can go around the city and do something. And here you start exploring, I mean it looks like the developers just don't have enough time to do and they just released something that shouldn't have left at the testing stage. I mean, I know it's the problem of the management and stuff like that and want it to release it in 2020, but this is just insane. This means we have left before. Okay, as you can see, this just makes it way easier when your character is max level. So, what should we do next? I really have no idea. See, this is what I mean game is boring when you don't have any pointers or anything like that. So let's go do this. I'm just thinking should I walk to there or should I actually get the people? Yeah, I'm just gonna get the people. And there we go again. Otherwise the, the graphics are amazing. I mean I'm playing at 1440p and max graphics on a 1080 Ti and I haven't dipped below 60 FPS that many times, if I have to be honest. I mean, apart from the occasional glitch and stuff like that, which happens in the game because it's a pre-release pretty much. I mean, sometimes the graphics don't load for some reason. And I've tried, tried everything actually. Changing the drivers, changing the hardware, 
nothing works, so it's pretty much the game itself. I can't imagine how people play this on mainstream consoles as well. I mean, I'm struggling with the 9900K and the 1080Ti. See, the, this is what I mean, the, the physics are insane in this game. I mean, they had so much time to fix it and they actually never did. There we go. So, this is nice and simple. The hell was that? I'm just gonna use a custom. There we go. A few shots. Basically, this RT Burya gun, I don't know how it's called or anything like that, it just says RT 68 Burya. It's one of the best guns in the game. Oh, yeah, let's go by car. Anyways, if you can get this one and in a legendary skill, it's just an insane gun. It doesn't matter if you're playing it on easy, hard, or very hard or anything like that, this gun is just insane. And this is some sort of a Cadillac, I think. Yeah, feels like it. Anyways, I'm going to buy something that really reminds me of my Bach Accelero, if anyone has seen it. Oh, it's Trauma Team. Let's go fight them. Those guys are badass as well. I mean, so much of them are not high level. And there we go. So now the is gonna come, man. Yeah, I really need to run now. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Once you buy the vehicle, the police just leaves you alone. It's not good. And the other thing, this is super floaty. I mean, they, they tried to make it super powerful and feel like it's super powerful, but it just skids all over the place. And I really want to figure out uh, what are the cars in this game based on. I mean, they do look familiar to some of super cars and stuff like that, but I'm not sure if they use them as models. For example, the one that we just got. Uh, looks like a concept from Mercedes-Benz, basically it's called Maybach Accelero or something like that. And there's ones that look like Lamborghinis and stuff like that. For example, the Caliburn thing, it's some weird cross between the Bugatti Veyron, Bugatti Chiron and the Audi A8. I don't know how they mix them up together so bad, but it does look like all of them at once. And like I said, the camping is just out of, out of this world. I mean, I'm actually interested how, how is this game gonna run on steering wheel and pedals? Can anyone actually drive in this game? Oh, see, this is a glitch that I want to show you. So, every time I pass this vehicle, before the update, after the update and everything, it's still buried in the concrete. And you, you'll see now, once I fight everyone, I shall come out of the concrete. She wants me dead. I, yeah, I'm really bad shot. Sorry for that. There we go. And now if we turn around to the vehicle and here it out, here we go. So now the vehicle is out of the concrete. I don't know how it happens, but I'm just not gonna ask. Right, what should we do now? Let's just clear the police report from here anyways. There we go. Now what should we do? Oh yeah, you can try out those... Uh, vending machines but I don't find anything useful in there. Okay, let's go do a mission actually. Yeah, so I think this is one of the missions where I need to stay stealthy but that's not for me definitely. And let's go just check it out. And actually this is the third time I've been playing the game so pretty much everything is exactly the same. I mean, I don't know what happened to the intelligent AI NPCs that CD Projekt Red promised, but you can expect everything to come at exactly the same point. Right, there we go. So, 
physics, the car just flips around for some of the reason. <laughs> and I can just park here. Uh, let's go to the apartment. Yeah, don't mess with the police. Just pass them and that's it. Saw it with my own eyes. Four hundred grand. Yeah, th this is definitely the quest where you should stay nice and quiet, undetected, like they say. Nah, not my style. I'll probably go in guns blazing. Oh, and those lifts are insane. Come on, move faster. Yeah, awkward silence. Yeah, we go. So remain silent, undetected, optional. So if it's optional, I don't give a crap about it. Okay, let's go in. And there's no NPCs. There's just a camera there that I was knocking out with the katana. And I'm detected now. Okay. Anyways, let's go get the dot shard. Oh, so now they're locating me. Anyways, the uh, only thing that bothers me when they start taking me is those crime detection systems where they shoot from the ceilings from turrets and stuff like that. They can really kill you. Yeah, we don't so that's what I'm talking about. Let's go downstairs. And what, what are those flying things actually? I mean, they look like drones, but some of them shoot, some of them don't. So, for example, this one. See, this is the turret that I was talking about. Anyways, guys, enjoy the video and hit the like, share, leave a comment, leave a like or a dislike, it depends on you. And don't forget to subscribe if you like the content. Thank you.